Hey everyone, so today we are looking at trying to find the altitude of a triangle. Now if you recall in our last video we talked about how an altitude is when you start at a vertex and you draw a line that is perpendicular to the side across from it. And that is called the altitude. I'm going to label it A. Now uh, in order to find the altitude though we are going to have to use the Pythagorean theorem. a squared plus b squared equals c squared. Okay? So, in order to do that, guys, in order to use Pythagorean theorem, we need to know two of the three sides of a right triangle. So, I'm specifically talking about this right triangle right here. Okay, please keep that in mind. Um, I know one of the sides is 7. And we're calling that one C because if you recall, C is the hypotenuse of the right triangle, otherwise known as the longest side. And the A and the C are the legs of the right triangle. So if this is an isosceles triangle like it is, you can see 7 and 7, those two sides are equal, then that means these are also equal, making this point here a midpoint. So we just need to find out what half of 72 is so we can find each piece. So half of 72, 7.2 70, 7 divided by 2 is 3.6. Okay, so 3.6 is what I'm going to label these two parts. So now I, that I'm going to call B because I, I have A, B, and C labeled now. So A we don't know, that's the altitude. B we know is 3.6, and C is 7. That's the longest side, otherwise known as the hypotenuse. Now we square them. Squared, remember, means multiplying it times itself. So 3.6 squared means 3.6 times 3.6, which is 12 point, 12 point, I do know this one. 3.6 squared is, I think, 12.96. Yep, 12.96. And 7 squared, 7 times 7 is 49. And we solve it like a regular equation. So I'm going to subtract 12.96 from both sides. So we get A squared alone now. 49 minus 12.96 is 36.04. And keep in mind, A is not by itself yet. It has the squared with it. So to get rid of a squared, we take the square root of both sides. So A is approximately, not exactly, 6.003. Okay? So you'll have to use the square root function on your calculator in order to get that final answer for the altitude. Thanks, guys.